Well, hello, hello again. I am so happy to be with you this Saturday, three o'clock Eastern time. My name is Dr. Angelica Christie, and you are listening to my show, Your Radiant Life After 45. And it is dedicated to women and who feel their youthful radiance waning and have so many questions about their changing body, like menopause and how to stay healthy, fit and desirable. The woman over 45 has played so many roles already in her life, wore so many hats um, for her family and for so many others. And now she asks, what about me? What is my life all about and going to be about? You get those and many more answers in my shows. And so I should suggest that you also look into the archives for um, uh, some of my previous episodes and watch some of those too. Yes? Good. So let's get back to what your body tells you. Um, because this is the third of uh, a trilogy or maybe there is a fourth part of why you must love your body. This is the only body we have, right? So if you don't love it, it feels really, really sad and it's not going to function very well. So the question is, or we know that the body is always talking to us, right? So how do you understand the language of your body? So here it is, your cells believe everything you think and feel. No matter if the thought is right now, is imagined, is real, if it's uh, from the past or the future, it's all the same. Everything you think is a reality for your body and it acts upon it instantaneously. So what does that mean? Your body, even though it's so smart, but it cannot differentiate between truth and fiction, nor can your body decide what belongs into the past or the future. Yeah, and there is so much to say about that. And not in this episode, but in a um, following one, I, will, I want to actually talk a little bit more about this, why this is, why this is such an intelligent design, even though it doesn't seem to sound like it, right? So you experience this reality, how your body reacts all the time. It shows up when your thoughts drift to an unpleasant or embarrassing event in the, uh, from the past. The moment you think about it, your body reenacts the response. You may even start to sweat or to blush or just feel, you know, this um, tightness in your heart or in your gut. The same is true, thank God, about a memory of love and joy and, and um, uh, exhalation and the positive and the beautiful can be brought back like that as well, even though it has already passed. But thinking about it, thinking intensely about it brings it right back. You feel the excitement bubble up again just by thinking about it, no matter how long ago it happened. Do this more often, not thinking about the negative, but the positive. So you give your body this jolt, this, um, this energy, uh, this energy rush of endorphins and happy uh, hormones and frequencies. Let me just maybe give you an example, a simple demonstration. So this is not something about something happy, but how you, you can feel how your body reacts to a thought if you have it intensely. Okay, so maybe you want to close your eyes for that. Close your eyes and imagine as vividly as you can that I cut a juicy lime in half and I take that one half and I squeeze the sour liquid right into your mouth. If you can see this in your mind's eye, your body will react by producing an immediate increase in saliva in your mouth. Yes or yes? 
So did that juice really enter your mouth? No, but your body believed it was real because you imagined it to be real. Yes. So I really hope uh, you had this increased saliva. Some people have dry mouth and they don't experience it, but you can practice these little things uh, on your own and you will be so amazed how your, your imagination brings in that reaction of your body, your, that feeling of relaxation or excitement and, and everything in between. And think about anxiety. The how of that anxiety about an imagined event that may not even happen causes, that it causes you such unnecessary stress. And we do this so often, we imagine something bad to happen in the future and we get hooked on it and our body reacts and creates that immediate stress. Even though it was a fiction of a maybe possible, but not necessarily possible event in the future. So how does this happen? Your autonomic nervous system, yours and mine, our autonomic nervous system reacts spontaneously by either flooding your body with stress hormones when you think about something horrible or bring that up or happy hormones. Either your sympathetic nervous, uh, nervous system activates, that's the one that is um, active, I mean that, that sh shoots right into it, or your parasympathetic nervous system kicks in that calms everything down. The sympathetic nervous system acts as if you're stepping on a gas pedal in your car and the parasympathetic nervous system acts as if you hit the brakes, okay? So the gas pedal or the brakes, that's just like your autonomic nervous system and your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous system work. And when you are under stress and anxiety, you have your foot on both, both the um, acceleration and the brakes at the same time. So the gas pedal and the brakes, if you push those two at the same time, guess what happens? Guess what happens in your car when you do this? It wears out very, very quickly, right? Yes, it's called overdrive. And if this continues for too long, for the car, it breaks down very easily. But for your body, your body suffers and breaks down also quicker. Maybe then it can repair itself. A car doesn't repair itself, but thank heavens our body has the ability to repair itself. That's why sleep is so important. But also to be able to um, control your autonomic nervous system, your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous, nervous system, so you can self-regulate. Okay, so feeling overwhelmed is one of the most common complaints today. No wonder we live in a very complex world. We can hardly keep up with the ever-growing stimulation in our brains through also the electronic devices that we have accumulated and invisible electromagnetic frequencies among other demands in business and in our personal lives. Stress, yes. So if you cannot experience the needed daily quiet time for centering and clarity, which will repair and rejuvenate your cells, you will feel more and more overwhelmed and open to the, and you can actually open the door to many, many diseases. And we have these modern diseases, not because you, you fall or you have any kind of accident, but this internal tension and stress can create so many diseases. So for example, when you feel tired and low in energy, you have exhausted your, in, your immediate um, energy supply, right? Your body tells you then, it speaks to you to rest. Do you listen and pause? Or do you push through the warning signs? Your body is giving you all the clues if you learn 
how to understand its language. And all you have to do is really listen and be smart. Use your head, use your gut. I have written a little book about the intelligence of your cells and how to create an intrinsic relationship with your body. Message or email me if you want a free copy of that uh, ebook. I would love to send it to you. So the book is called Your Intelligent Cell, Intrinsic Relationship with Your Body. Okay. So let us go into the next part of um, your body's understanding the language of your body. How do you master your body's response? You see, your body reflects the mirror image of your state of mind, your state of emotions, and also that of your spirit. Even if you listen to your body and start to understand what it communicates to you, and even if you are already successful in supporting your body's needs, there are times when you want or even need to adjust your body's response. You can do this. Um, yes, you can actually, it, it takes a little practice. It takes some guidance as well. You can do this as soon as you know how to gain mastery over your body. And let me tell you, that takes some time. But who is the master anyway? Is it not you? Of course it is you. There is no other master. You are powerful beyond your mind's ability to know. So what does that mean? What you could increase and uh, what it is, is that your willpower, your intelligence and your willpower can increase and amplify your positive energy to a de degree that it creates a magnetic attraction for what you want. Yes, you can. You probably have read and heard a lot about um, the law of um, um, manifesting, right? Ma the law of manifestation. That's how it's done. It's a magnetic attraction through the control of your mind and of your body. What if you could change a negative emotion by taking the same energy and recycle it into a positive and supportive emotion? Yes. On one hand, you have the negative emotion, but you can stop it. You don't need to be carried away with it. You can actually use that energy, recycle it into a positive and, su and supportive emotion. Isn't that extraordinary? We have so many abilities, but we usually don't use them because we are too busy with other things. And forget about the foundation of the most important powers that we have and how to, to make it work for us. What if you could eat an unhealthy food? Let's say if nothing better is available. I don't want you to eat unhealthy food, but let's say there is nothing else available. If you could do that without getting sick or any uh, negative response, you can do even that. What if you could drink contaminated water if no other clear and clean water would be available without harm to your body? You can do that to a degree, not poisonous, but polluted. Mastering your body's response is being in charge of your body and the four elements of your body that it is made of but it goes even further than that. And if you remember uh, in, our first, uh, in, in our first episode, I talked about the four elements in your body. And if you haven't listened to this, maybe go back and find that episode, the four elements in your body. But since everything is basically energy, you can affect and change almost everything. I know that is a bold statement, but there is an ample, there's ample evidence that it is 
that that the impossible that this is possible let's say that the impossible is almost always possible and i'm sure that you have experienced this to a certain degree in your life at some um to some degree or the other sometimes we manifest it without even being aware of how we did it one of the strongest supports comes from our intent and an unwavering belief that whatever we need can and will be manifested or accomplished. You may have examples in your life for that as, as well, or witness this in somebody else's life or situation, that in times, for example, of great need or danger, uncharted reserve of either physical or emotional strengths are possible. When in danger, the body automatically responds. It either avoids the challenge or it shoots out a large amount of adrenaline so that it gives you the power that under normal circumstances, the physical power you would not have. And you, could, you can only access it in those situations where your body um, detects a great danger and it just provides you with the fuel and that is adrenaline. As long as it is absolutely necessary, you can run faster than under normal circumstances. You can, may even be able to lift something that under normal circumstances would be impossible. I have heard that a woman who found a, a, um, a child trapped under a car actually lifted the car and others rushed and removed the child. Yes, those Hercules powers can kick in and it comes from your sympathetic nervous system that um, uh, powers, empowers you to, um, to do the things that are necessary to save your life or save somebody else's life. And there are other occasions where you want to consciously affect your otherwise automatic subconscious response because when you have a situation, your body reacts spontaneously, automatically to that. For example, in the example of the sour, the, the sour um, lime, after you have um, uh, uh, created that extra saliva, you can create another thought, uh, feeling your mouth really dry, 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 and that saliva will disappear very quickly. Anyway. Um, you will find, uh, use your imagination, there are so many things you can, you can try out and see how powerful you are in just those little things. We hear a lot about the secret to manifestation, but did you know that it is not really a secret at all? Never was. Your ability to master your body and your life lies within yourself your divine self. So that's another part of it that I want to go in at, an, at another time, maybe in another episode, the spiritual aspect of all of this. The prerequisite to create time for yourself and to um, discover all of this is to become still so that you can listen to your inner true voice. What is that? your inner true voice. It's the part of you that cannot be located in your physical body at all. And yet it rests in the center of your true being. Where is this true being? Sometimes we feel it in the middle of our chest or in our gut. Not very often in our brain because the mind does not know who you are. Your divine self never experiences stress or pain, not even uncertainty. That part of you is your soul self and it is always available to you and knows how to respond to any given situation. It is conscious and wise because it is intrinsically connected to the unlimited power and abundance of a loving and supporting universe. There is nothing you have to do or to learn 
I would say you must rather unlearn the false and limiting beliefs by quieting the noisy chatter in your mind. I want you to embrace the truth that the, Im that the imprint of perfection lies within the divine, divine, lies within the di divine matrix of your original self. Let me repeat this. I want you to embrace the truth that the imprint of perfection lies within the divine matrix of your original design. God lives within every cell of your body and is in action according to your desire and unwavering trust that this is so. This may be a little bit much for you if you have never contemplated this before, but bear with me and keep an open mind, allowing my consideration a space of existence within you. I know that this is a huge subject and therefore I can only barely go beyond the surface here. But if you want to explore this further, um, I invite you to connect with me for maybe a free discovery call where can, we can go deeper in the particular questions you have about this part of your heroic self, your soul self, that incredibly wise, supportive, original self, the God self that resides within you. Your path to mastering your body and therefore mastering your life is laid out in front of you and can be accessed with guidance. And the guidance comes from the inner knowing to access and merge your everyday experience with the wisdom and power of your unlimited self requires that you take inspired action. Inspired action to be still and listen. And if you want to go there faster, you may want to have a mentor, or somebody who can guide you and support you with that. I found that one of the best paths toward mastering your body's response is the daily practice of meditation or contemplation. And I also love gentle yoga because very often um, a, I, I actually call it a breath of peace yoga. That's how I practice yoga because this, this gentle stretching of the body with breathing and elongating your body and allowing mind, body, spirit, thought, all of it to come together is a beautiful exercise that amplifies each part of you and uh, brings about new discoveries and realizations. So when, when tuning into your body, you quiet your mind's unbridled chatter. And we have that chatter. Oh my goodness, do we have that chatter, right? When you learned how to really listen without judgment or even without preconceived ideas, just um, emptying your mind of all knowledge that you believe or, or theories or beliefs that you have, just become open. Your body will respond and align with the desired what, what, what with, with your inner master, your soul self, to give you exactly what you need. And yes, this is no other than you. That soul self is you. Why not choose to believe and accept it? The chattering you, the, the, the one with anxiety and and worries and and uh, trying so hard with everything. That's not the original you. That stuff you put yourself um, into. But if sitting in meditation is difficult for you, I have created a wonderful way to keep your mind connected with your senses through my easy and proven 
focused hand meditation. And you can get an introduction um, by going to YouTube and, and uh, look for my name and um, hand meditation. I have um, a video on YouTube there. But if you want me to guide you there, uh, just send me an email. So I want to close this last part of the core of the um, of this three part theme, why you must love your body with an exercise you can do right now. And it can greatly increase your power and ability to amplify positive feelings. And it's a tool you can use to get uh, to make part of your life. Close your eyes for a moment and think about a desire you have. Yet you presently feel that it may be too hard, too difficult, not clear enough for you to achieve. And the first step is that you imagine how it felt when you achieved something in the past, no matter what time in your life it was, which made you feel really proud, really uh, successful, tremendously joyous. So. Maybe we don't have the time for you to do this now, but do this when you have a little more time. Go and do that part first. Imagine this. Maybe it was the first paycheck or any other personal event, or maybe uh, when you gave birth uh, to your first child. Just go to this situation and visualize it as, with as much clarity as you can see exactly where it was and and who was with you and how it felt how and, and use all of your senses i want you to experience it again with as much feeling and clarity as you can yes do that we don't have time for it right now but please do it just jot that down so that you do it i want you to imagine that you could increase the strength and power of that good feeling. Just imagine it and then you already feel it. To bring more power in it you and you will feel uh, when you can raise the excitement, you feel a tingling in your body and energy that grows within your body. And now I want to give you a quick tool before we run out of time that will greatly support your success in anything you do. So the imagination and feeling of, of the thing that you desire is first, right? And when you have exactly the, exactly be clear and have all of the feeling, then what I want you to do is make it so real that you uh, make a fist, make a tight fist. And while you feel that intense feeling in your body, then you say to yourself, double it double it you just give your body the, the, the um, your body the command to double whatever you feel right now and your body understands it it's just as one plus one is two when you say double it or two plus two is four when you say double it or quadruple it your body understands that when your feeling is positive and strong Get ready to create an anchor and that is the anchor so that when you have this feeling and picture available to you on demand and, and it's very deeply anchored within your conscious and eventually um, subconscious awareness, you have this incredible tool to say an um, anchor it first, get in all of the feelings and then say double it and double it and you will feel that burst of energy Okay, I think we are almost, I almost have to say goodbye here now. I would love to share so much more with you. Um, there is so much more to say about it. So please come back next week, Saturday, and I will continue. There is more to say about this. Or simply send me an email, send it to info at angelicachristi.com, subject, love your body, free coaching session, and we can privately talk about it. You have the power and ability to create your life your way. You need a supportive and strong body that is your best friend and supporter rather than a misunderstood companion that lets you down. You will spend the rest of your life with either one, the friend or the one that lets you down. Make your body your most trusted friend.
by loving your body like the lover loves the beloved. And this is all I can say here today. Um, thank you, thank you so much for being with me. And uh, please come back again next Saturday, same time.